So we're going to go through one of the most powerful healthcare aspects of the Apple Watch today, um, how to save a life with it. There's a condition called atrial fibrillation, which is a, condu a conductivity problem with the heart. And what an ECG does is test the particular elements of conductivity of the heart um, that that leads to this problem and it can lead to sudden cardiac death. Um, sometimes we've heard about basketball players, football players, hockey players suddenly go down that were utter otherwise entirely healthy. Um, and sometimes they die, sometimes they're saved. Um, but this tests for it. There's no symptoms. There's nothing we can screen for other than this. And prior to the Apple Watch, this was a very expensive process and people wouldn't get screened randomly. Um, but what you can do is you can screen everybody you know, including yourself. Maybe you haven't even done this. Um, a lot of people have got Apple Watches over Christmas and don't know how powerful of a medical tool they have on their wrist. This is FDA approved to do what it says it does. And it can actually be sent to your cardiologist, your doctor. Um, as they get up to speed with this technology, they'll be uh, recommending these things as we move forward. So let's see how we do it. So as you can see, it's saying, hold my finger on the ground. I'm going to hold my finger as soon as I do. It's going to start taking my heart rate uh, and counting me down for 25 seconds. It's on the other side of my wrist here, so some of the numbers might not be uh, perfect. And uh, typically it sits on the top of the wrist while doing this. But what you're going to see afterwards is it's going to let me know what my conductivity aspect of my heart is. Uh, this is sort of a one and done test. Um, so as you can see, sinus rhythm, which is a normal rhythm, my average heart rate during the test. Um, and then you can see this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Uh, so another important aspect of this that it highlights is that this isn't testing for heart attacks. The heart has a bunch of different elements to it. It's got the pump elements of the chambers. It's got the valves. It's got the blood supply to the heart muscle itself, which that's commonly known as a heart attack. Um, this is sort of the element of how the rhythm of your heart comes together so all the chambers are pumping in the right order. Um, and once again, this is screening for uh, this condition that would otherwise be asymptomatic or very difficult for us to tell um, what uh, what what's happening. So this is just telling me that this is a, a sinus rhythm um, and that it's uh, a healthy rhythm. And if it was something different, it would advise you um, to talk to a health care professional uh, and then get some even more specific um, conductivity tests done. Sometimes things like pacemakers are utilized and uh, we wouldn't know otherwise. So save a life. Put this on everybody you know. Um, take an ECG on them. If something comes up, you can maybe give them an early uh, warning sign, early gift for 2021 and tell them to talk to a practitioner and see about uh, getting their heart checked out. Maybe there's an issue that they would have no otherwise never known. Maybe you saved your life. Um, have a great 2021.